So since you have clicked on this video, I am guessing you would like to know some really great tips on thrifting and antique store shopping, and that is where I am here to help. I have purchased 90% of my home by second hand, and I find my clothes, my shoes, the home decor, a lot of the facets of my life are found from thrift stores, garage sales, antique shop trips. So. I want to share with you several tips I have accumulated from my years of thrifting to hopefully make you a more successful thrifter and with the way the economy is now, I think secondhand is definitely the way to go. So my first tip, and these are not in any particular order, is to go often. Now I do not have a thrift store within a 45 minute radius of my small town where I live. So I do have to take a trek up to our local city or to some farther neighboring towns as well to find thrift stores and antique stores. So that means hauling my girls in my vehicle and going up to our local city to do some shopping. But if I want to find good deals, then I need to go often. So lots of stores are restocking all the time because people are always getting rid of their stuff. If you don't go often, you're gonna miss some of those special things you have been looking for that are on your list. And that's where going often, and often for me is probably once every other week because I just, I'm not gonna always go up to our local city to go thrifting. If I am in the local city, I will make sure I do stop at a thrift store just because that's what I do. All right, tip number two, go to the non-chain stores. So chain stores are thing, places like Savers or I think in Canada it's Value Village um, or in other Eastern states I think it's Value Village, I'm not sure. And also Goodwill. So uh, there are a lot of smaller thrift stores in bigger towns, in surrounding towns, and I think it's important to check those ones out. Their prices seem to be a lot lower, at least where I am in South Dakota, than the Goodwill and the Savers. Um, especially lately, it feels like Goodwill is kind of becoming a department store. So those other non-chain stores, you can often find some of the nicer quality clothes as well and items because I think other people have realized they want to donate to these specific non-chain stores because they're going to a different cause or helping their kids school or helping a food pantry or something like that. So the non-chain stores are definitely an ideal place to thrift and shop. And with that said, sometimes you have to look past the sketchy looking thrift stores because that is where some of the really great decor pieces I've found have been from. I have to go into them knowing, okay, this might not be a big, broad, well-packed um, Goodwill where lots of people shop, but I'm gonna go in here because their prices are great and they have some great items for sale. So sometimes looking past the sketchy and going to those non-chain stores are really important for finding great deals. All right, check for the sales. If you can go often enough, like weekly or bi-weekly, a lot of the stores have color-coded sales. So one in particular I go to rotates every two weeks a different color on their items that are 75% off and 50% off. So for example, one week it will be orange is 75% off, blue is 50% off. The next week or two weeks it will be purple is 75% off, pink is 50% off. And so if you have an item in mind that you've seen the week before, maybe wait the next two weeks to see if those items are that 75% off or 50% off. Also in antique stores, there are often a lot of booths that do a 20% off the old Christmas decor or 50% um, off the entire booth if it's one that's potentially going out of business. You can always probably ask up front what booths have sales going on. That way you can scout those out. And I did just a recent thrift and antique with me and I got several of my pieces for 50% off that are vintage pieces that will match my home decor and so I was really excited about that. So just finding those booths in antique stores that are 
on sale because antiquing is definitely more expensive than thrifting, but it is something I enjoy doing and where I like finding my collected vintage home look that I have. All right, for looking for different decor pieces, a tip here is to look past the ugly. So sometimes something that you like in a piece is part of an ugly piece. So look past that, think what can I recreate with this? Can I take an inner lining out of a basket that's really stained and just use the basket? Yes. Can I take this really big sheet and make it into a smaller curtain? Yes. So different things that you see, you could potentially turn into something beautiful or if you just wipe off all the dirt and grime, you have what you were looking for. So you really do have to look past the ugly sometimes in thrift stores, especially garage sales when it's that time of year because people will put things out that are not the cleanest and not always the prettiest. All right, for clothing, it is important to look in different sections, different sizing. Some thrift stores don't even size their clothes, like the one in my last thrift with me, it was just all the shirts in one section. So you really have to take time to peruse each section if you're looking for something in particular because they're all mixed together and sometimes they'll accidentally put women's clothes in the men's clothes because people don't always know what brand goes with what gender and also if they are categorized by size sometimes they're mislocated misplaced and different brands size so much differently so you can have one brand that fits you nice and snug the other brand is extremely loose so just check all the different sizes for clothing if that's what you're looking for and on the clothing line always with kids clothes now thrifting for kids clothes is tricky for me i've seen um garage sales are a lot better for me with finding kids clothes and that a lot of the thrift stores I go to there are stains there's holes and there's wear and tear on the kids clothes so just make sure you pull the whole thing out examine front back the pants legs the under the arms all that stuff for any stains any wear because kids start wearing on those clothes and wear them out and people donate them even if they have holes and stains in them so just really be cautious on looking for those kids clothes so you don't miss a hole in a shirt that you accidentally did and I guess that applies for our own clothes or our husband's clothes as well because you can often miss those stains or a hole in a pocket for a man or something like that so just really examine the clothing and check the different sections all right here's another tip look through the piles so this doesn't always have to in the thrift stores because they often display things but antique booths for sure there are piles you can find some gems of some vintage pieces in piles and they are just like vintage plates i found just stacked in piles some old books some gardening books that i found in piles so definitely take time to peruse the piles if you have the time pick through things and see what you can find there's hidden gems like i said in those particular piles all right finally this tip is very important because you can often ask for lower prices even at thrift stores now the chain stores not so much they're set in stone they won't budge but at some of the non-chain stores i have been able to get lower prices on pieces because i asked for a lower price so i said this isn't in my budget but i really like it and they have reduced it even by two to three dollars so it might not be a lot that they reduce it but it's better than nothing so definitely even at a thrift store don't be afraid when you go up to the counter just say hey this even if it has a little flaw on it for clothing for instance if you know you can mend it this has some damage to it i would like to buy it but i'm not going to pay the price on the tag and give them an offer or let them pick or a painting i found one time my winter painting that i use all the time here this winter in my home decor i really liked it and the lady said i know you really like that i said yes but it's a little pricey so she gave me two dollars off the painting so just be brave and ask for a lower price even if they say no you gave it a shot next thrift store the next worker the next time you go may be willing to bargain with you all right friends that's my thrifting and antique um tips that i have for you so far 
So hopefully you feel successful the next time you go out thrifting. Take some of my tips and use them if you can and have fun with it. Find some great deals and I will talk with you guys in my next video. Thank you.